successfully ensured the milk is being stirred thoroughly. Place the air compressor inside the metal jug. As shown in the video, the air compressor produces steam. The steam causes the bubbles to rise within the milk. Hence, it creates a layer of foam. The layer of foam consists of air and protein molecules. Pour the shot of espresso within the cup and carefully pour the milk. It is clearly evident that there are two distinctive layers, the milk layer and foam layer. The milk layer is 80% while the foam layer is 20%. There are two types of foam separation which are foam fractionation and flotation. Foam fractionation is the separation of the soft and surface active component from solution, whereas the flotation is the removal of cursory dispersed material. Today we will need to be talking about foam fractionation. Foam fractionation consists of three types of process which are batch, semi-batch and continuous process. The process undergoes absorption between the solute and bubbles generated by the gas spreading through a liquid solution. The absorption process is on gas-liquid interface. Protein skimming is the removal of protein molecules from the solution with the aid of foam. How is it possible? Now let's look at what type of molecules are protein. So protein molecule is actually an amphiphilic molecule which is also known as surface active molecule. Now here's an example of an amphiphilic molecule which has a hydrophilic region which loves water and a hydrophobic region which hates water. Now phenomena. So basically protein molecules are actually more hydrophobic than hydrophilic so that they will actually tend to attract to the air solution interface or the gas solution interface and they will absorb on it to form a monolayer protein molecules and this is what happened after the time where the system actually has two layers of protein molecules one here and one here basically as the bubbles are continuously formed they will actually make contact with another monolayer of protein molecules either on the air solution interface or the pre previously formed bubble so when the bubbles are stable enough, they'll actually merge and form forms on the surface of the solution. Here is the Gibbs adsorption equation, and this is the Gibbs adsorption isotherm. Applications of foam fractionation in chemical engineering. In pharmacy, foam fractionation is used to purify proteins from dilute solutions, example extracting amino acids from milk. In wastewater treatment, removal of organic molecules, bacteria and metals is done by foam fractionation. The food industry uses foam fractionation to enrich and separate natural compounds from plant extracts. Example, extracting phytonutrients from mangosteen.